What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a video for you on solving a little issue I've been having with Visual Studio 2019 that also affects 2017 etc etc. I'll go ahead and show you before I get into it. Basically I downloaded a project, opened up the sample and of course I'm missing a few libraries. On the GitHub talking about this I can either build it myself or go ahead and install it from NuGet which I could very easily do by running a simple command but when I go across into a Visual Studio, go to project, manage and you get packages and I see this window over here up at the top it says enable to retrieve results from one or more sources nuget.org if I go to show errors and output you can see them down here error occurred while restoring nuget packages unable to load the service index for a source an error occurred while sending the request the request was aborted could not create ssl slash tls a secure channel and if I go ahead and control click on the link to open it in chrome you can see that it's functioning absolutely perfectly and it's even HTTPS. So it makes no sense, right? Well, apparently this has something to do with your proxy and I'm guessing that's what it has to do with mine. Obviously I don't use a proxy or even a VPN, but this may be an issue that you may be experiencing yourself. So let's go ahead and close out of Visual Studio and navigate to where it's installed. So I'll open up C Program Files 86, Microsoft Visual Studio 2019 Community, or of course whatever one yours is, followed by Common 7, then IDE. And inside of here, all we need to do is simply copy the folder text at the top, so next up, we need to open up an administrative notepad file so we can go ahead and edit it. So we'll go into notepad like that and click run as admin or right click run as admin. Then we'll simply hit control O to open, navigate to the folder. We'll change it from text documents only to all files and we'll open up devenv.exe.config. So this one over here, we'll hit open and you'll see this over here. Next up, we'll be scrolling all the way to the bottom to where it says system.net as such. If you're using a different notepad or even here, you can control F and search for system.net inside of bigger than and smaller than brackets, similar to HTML, find next, boop, there it is over there. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace all of this over here. So system.net, system.net with the text in the description down below, which is this. So as you can see, system.net is there. Default proxy enabled to true, use credentials true, use system default true, bypass on local true. And that's basically all we've added. Then we'll hit control S to save, close out of it, and we'll simply be opening up Visual Studio as per usual. So I'll open it from the project over here. Then I'll go across to project followed by manage NuGet packages. And yours should be working. However, mine is not. And that is because of a brand new bug that Microsoft is currently aware of and the NuGet team is working on as far as I know. Down below linked is this forum post over here that Microsoft themselves have responded to. Scrolling down to today, there's a ton of results and a post from yesterday mentions that they're tracking the issue via GitHub, followed by this link, where you can actively see what's happening with it. Could not create SSL, a TLS secure channel, error in Visual Studio, and here is a workaround that is mentioned. So we're gonna be following this one now. And basically the fix goes through disabling TLS 1.3 via PowerShell. I'll simply copy this out of here and open up a notepad file where I'll paste them into for easy copying and pasting. So what we'll be doing is we'll be closing Visual Studio entirely, opening up Windows PowerShell as admin, and we'll basically be copying and pasting these in one by one. So paste in that one, I'm right clicking to paste, so control C, right click in PowerShell, and then we're going through each one of the items on this list here as such. Now, as far as I know, you can also save this as a .ps1 file. I'd open it using PowerShell as such, so I'll go ahead and save it on my desktop as run.ps1, and change it from text document to all files. Save, basically I'll be copying where it is, CD paste, and I'll simply type in run, hit tab, hit enter, and as you can see, TLS 1.3 has been disabled. Basically, we've run that. It's the same as running all of the commands separately. So obviously, if you'd like to download this PS1 file, it'll be linked in the description down below. Then the next thing that this mentions is adding these few registry keys, which is what we'll be doing now. So I'll simply copy out this whole bottom section, paste it into a new notepad, and I'll paste them into PowerShell as such. And there we go. Let's go ahead and open up a Visual Studio and see if it fixed our issue. Let's go to project, manage NuGet packages, a loading. As you can see, it's finally working. There is no issue and there's nothing reported in the package manager console down here. Awesome, so now it's working properly. 
as it should be. And I would assume that after this is fully updated, this GitHub post over here will be updated as well as a bunch of information on possibly undoing this if this causes any issues in the future, but I really doubt it should. Then this post over here will also be linked because down here, the Visual Studio feedback system have responded saying that someone is currently looking through on how to fix it. So I'd highly recommend going through and following these two posts, this thread over here, as well as the GitHub page, if you're currently having this issue. If you're looking at this video sometime in the distant future and this fix worked for you, great. However, if it doesn't, I'd recommend looking a bit deeper because this is an issue that currently affects Visual Studio as it is, as well as NuGet 2019 and 2017. I don't know if it'll affect future versions, and I'm pretty sure once a patch is created and pushed to everyone, once everyone updates, this should be fixed. That being said, if it's a couple of months after this video comes out, or possibly even weeks, I'd highly recommend going ahead and updating Visual Studio first. Anyways, thank you all for watching. My name is Mean Technobo here for Troubleshoot. I hope this helped you in some way or another, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.